Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing my August September book haul. I have a lot of books to show you, so let's get right on into it. So first we'll start off with the eight audiobooks that I have. The first one being the Night, A Night of Seven Kingdoms by George R. R. Martin, and this is a prequel to Game of Thrones, which I look forward to listening to very, very, very soon. I want to at least get started in the Game of Thrones world. Next up, I have Echo by Alice and Noel, and this is the first or second book in the Soul Seekers series. I read her um, Evermore series and really enjoyed it, so I want to read some more stuff by her. And all of these audiobooks were like $2, so that's why I have so many. And then the next one is Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. And I actually own this in physical book, but um, I have it now in audiobook in case I want to listen to it rather than actually read it. Because I have it in mass market paperback, and I absolutely hate mass market paperbacks. And then the next one I have, which I hopefully will be listening to very soon, is Dark Places by, Yil by Gillian Flynn. I watched the movie of this and really, really loved it, and I hope to be listening to it soon for Halloween time. And then I have... Um, Monument 14 by Emmy Laybourne, and this is like a dystopian, from what I can gather, about uh, these kids getting caught in a super store um, when there's like some sort of natural disaster or something going on, so it's about that. And then the next one... I have here is Scorpia by Anthony Horowitz, and this is book six in the Alex Rider series, which I own all of the books in this in the physical book form, or regular book form, and I also read them all, but um, I love these books so much. I want to reread them soon, so why not to buy them in audio? And then the next one I have here, they are stuck together. Uh, next one I have is, if I can get it, is Aragon by Christopher Paolini, and I actually already own this and have read this in physical book form, but uh, I do want to reread these, and it would be a lot quicker to listen to them via audio, so, and then lastly, in the audiobooks, I have The Diviners by La Bray. And, uh, again, I own this in physical book form. I just haven't read it yet. And I feel like it would be quicker to listen to it rather than read it because I'm a slow reader. And that's a big book. And then the other books I got in the month of September are City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare in the UK edition, which is absolutely stunning and beautiful. And then I have... Yeah. Dark Parties by Sarah Grant, and I'm not exactly too sure what this uh, is about. Um, I think it's some sort of like dystopian, and why am I looking yellow? Oh my goodness. But um, yeah, this is kind of a um, dystopian type of book, I guess, from at least what I can gather on the descriptions. I don't really know too much about it um, other than that. Um, next I have Inferno by Sherilyn Kenyon, and this is one of the books in the Chronicles of Nyx series. I'm not sure which one in the series, but this is one of the books in the series. And I think it involves zombies. Next I have Watcher in the Woods by Robert Leparulo, and this is book two in the Dreamhouse Kings series. I read the first one a few years ago, really loved it, and I could never find the second one until now. But I'm very excited to continue on with that series. And then I have Allie's Pretty Little Lies by Sarah Shepard. And this is one of the Pretty Little Liars books. I think this color for the covers might be my favorite. Uh, I just really love this color. Um, so yes, I'll, I'll read the Pretty Little Liars books after finishing the TV show. And then I have Matched, Crossed, and... I can pick up here. Reached by Ali Condi. I bought the whole entire trilogy because 
I do plan on reading it very, very soon. So I figured why not pick up the entire trilogy to read. Next, next we will do the books that I got in September. And I have Black Heart by Holly Black. And this is the third book in the Curse Workers series. Trilogy, rather. I read the first book last year, really loved it, and I hope to finish these books this year. And then I have Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge, which is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, which I read part of in the library a couple years ago, and I enjoyed it, but I just was in a massive reading slip, so I couldn't continue on with it. And then I have Jane by April Linder. And this is a retelling of Jane Eyre, which I have not read Jane Eyre, but that this book sounds really interesting to me. And then I have um, Enshadowed by Kelly Craig, which is book two in the Nevermore trilogy, and I really love Nevermore, and I finally picked this one up. And finally, I have Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay in the UK covers. And yes, that is all of the books that I got in August and September. My shoulder is killing me from holding my phone up. Um, but yes, that is it for all of these books that I got in these last two months. If you read any of them, let me know what you thought down below. I'm sorry I didn't really go into explanations. Um, I was just kind of trying to get through it kind of fast. Um, but yes, that is it for this video. Next time, bye!